action, please. Yeah? Yes. Are you ready? Ready. Yes. Ready? It's going. Okay. Camera. Action. Rolling. Take one. Let me tell them some motherfucker. You got all of they come. Smart orange. Countryman. The lunatic. To the World Cup. Shatter. But the one that really I admire a lot is Rockers. There was no lines written, no dialogue for anyone. Shot by Mr. Ted Bafalukas, Greek man. Come to Jamaica and say, you know what though? We gotta do something. Yep. I was a young boy at the time. So I'm Leroy Asmouth Wallace. You got a camera on me? Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you talk about what you want to make it. I'm reading the yeah. manuscript. <laughs> manuscript? I'm making a film. What is it? You got a direct? Yeah. Did you? You got to do some directing yeah. too? <laughs> because you work in a theater, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm doing? Long legs, the teacher, you know? But she also work in a the theater. Mm -hmm. I talk real theater. They do all kind of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like a la miserable. Yeah? So now, we're making a film. Making a film, you know? I wrote one already. Ain't that right? My big mom got it. Ain't got in contact with her. My daughter in Jamaica. Well, I mean, three years ago, I was talking to my children three years ago. But, but anytime I talk to my children, the mother's right there beside them. You can't talk to them you know, on their own. You know. Okay. You now, my daughter, Misha, she had a number, but she somehow but she can't find it. I believe her. So I did. So I do have contact with my children. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to beg them to talk to me because the mother fucked up. And, and the mother lied and they, they all kind of shit and all kind of shit and all kind of shit and all kind of shit. And then, Ross Record was selling them, sending them royalties, my money. They were giving her money after they robbed me. So she can purchase a house for her in appearance. At least my kids are somewhere to live. My money, you know. The Rick Brock amount is what's sending them money. It's not going to shit. Well, that's the book in Asia that Lioness, little bitch, spoke with. I gotta let him go. Because he was making deals behind my back. So it is, isn't it? Yeah, Bob Marley was in Angola. Well, he thought it was a free concert. $80,000. Mm-hmm. So when the my mother came backstage and said, Bob, you okay? Everything all right? Nice pay I gave you. Bob said, which pay? So, yes, I paid $80,000. Hmm? Yep. Bob Marley manager, Don Taylor. Rip off Bob. You know what Bob did him? Bob just quoted us and we want to come here. Call him. He said, What about the money? He said, Which money? He said, The one that they gave him to give me. He said, Oh, I was supposed to give it to you now. Bob Marley. Now, Bob Marley, look, slap him. Hard slap. And let my friend named Lip, our next man, hold him by his legs over the fucking balcony. Then he started to talk. Bob Marley, a bad boy. Bob Marley never trust Dan Taylor afterwards. His own fucking manager. Robbing him, making deals behind Bob Marley back. Same thing Rick Brockamante did to me. Because you ever say, Marley, you're very smart, you know. You're very smart, you know. No, very wise. Mm hmm. 
And like so the motherfucker who can't read, like Barnes and Levy, he can't read. And Judge Law, he can't read. Mm -hmm. When I talk about motherfucker who can't read, that motherfucker who can't do shit, they fucking me first, you know. But you don't hear about it. You just sweat under the rug. Well, they got some out. You know, I'm going to Puerto Rico, San Juan, Puerto Rico, the smaller show, you know. Uh, less than 1,500 capacity. Yeah, he only can afford $6,000, six plane ticket. Six hotel room, ground and here, transportation, food and all kind of stuff like that, show you around. Tickets, price ten dollars. It's with a show in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I was playing at the <laughs> Tito Puentes, the Tito Puentes Stadium. Tito Puentes in Puerto Rico, like Bob Marley in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 10,000 capacity ticket already sold out at 35 fucking dollars a ticket. Plus they get a sponsor too. Plus the local band is playing too. <coughs> Do the maths. 10,000 people at 35 dollars US. Plus they sell the all kind of shit. Cool. Also almost 400,000. 6,000 per month. I found out about it. I said, no, no more. That's how they started fuck me up. Mm -hmm. Booking tours. I don't know about the tour. That's what they had me. Booking tours, you know. And I tell the motherfucker, fuck, I don't book any more tours. So you decided to book fucking tours. And book some small money shit too. Fridays and Saturdays will be will day off. Oh, the fuck? You gonna have Fridays and Saturdays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No show Friday, no show Saturday. Show on Sunday. They fucking need to fuck up. Mm hmm. I'm gonna show you carpentry. I'm, 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 I'm supposed to pick up half, the other half. I'm supposed to pick up the half of the deposit. But the other half sent to the booking agent. And he has all them contracts in him. Send all the contracts to me, and his name is not signed on it. Rick Rocamantes. That's in for the tax, that's in for the, from a tax man, working against me with Carol Fogner, and Fitzpatrick, the manager. And I introduce him to the manager. That's how the shit goes. Fuck me up. That time now, all kind of shit happening. Baby mother, every motherfucker fucking me the fuck up. Use the children then. I see, I see you get innocent. Mm hmm. Why would I come to your fucking here? And I'm with two more babies. So I thought she would have stayed. Ho ho! Let's not go to that now. More shit. You're making a film. What my fucking life? You wanna kill me? If you killed me yesterday, you would have started making a move a film of my fucking life today. You know that? Hmm. Mouth, let me see a script. Yeah. I wrote a script, a film called Yard Man. How can the shit come blah blah da 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 da? Mm hmm And I'm still trying to find Mr. Claire Richards. Which I gave the best awareness to find a guy. What you find a guy? Why? I did a film or a movie back in 1985, which I'm starring in the role. About a bus boy, a waiter, who accidentally stumbled up and some big time drug deal going on in the house where he was working. I said, oh. What's going on? Looking for them fucking Asian Chinese guy. So now they call me in the film room. Rudy boy, Rudy boy. Mm -hmm. So I take I take over the shit. So I blah blah in Jamaica, fly to Arizona, all kind of shit, and the last part playing crashing, but that was the shit in it. Mm. Wanna find Mr. Clive Richard? So no. You say what's told mouth? Give me all the con give me all your um information. But that bitch lioness took it, you know. She 
she wants to get her lawyer in. Hmm? And she was talking about mouth. I got lawyers for you. You want him back in America in February? What the fuck? If I was in America February last month, she would have sent me the fuck up. Cause the Molly boys want me now. The film. Came out of the fucking film. Who's in the film? Came out of Molly. The Molly boys. A billionaire named Jim Buff. Best friend of mine. The little fucking little white girl who I rescue. Never have a pot to piss in. Broke. Parents kicked her out of the house when she was 13 years old. 15, they sent her to a drug rehab. 17, she come see me. I said, leave me the fuck alone. Mr. John Rehack, the owner of the Scandal nightclubs. Nightclub in Old Century, the Maryland, said, mouth. That chick is not 19, she's a liar. He's a liar. And I had a girl with me, you know. I'm sitting in the carrier. Come down, take me. Remember that fucking Making a film. Mr. D head can tell you, I name motherfucker. Mm -hmm. They went out while I was on tour. Been on here at my house. Looking at my kid who's six years old at the time. Oh, he's so smart. But Tyrion don't know. He's about 25, 26 now. He don't know he's a kid. How his mom misused him against me. I'm saying, oh, the kid is so damn smart. You know, he's so, oh, mouse is so fucking smart. I wish he played basketball. But if we don't play, I'm not going to pay. He's too smart to play basketball, but he can take care of the business part of it. The business part of it. Why the fucking manager? Miles. I'm 70, man. I'm 72 years old. I ain't got no children. I would love to, I, I, I would love to adopt your children. Adopt my children. Meanwhile, my money was in the artist. My money was in the artist trust fund. Waiting to collect my fucking money. Making out 110,000 US dollars per month. With no promotion enough. Like Shaggy and Sean Paul and all the motherfuckers. Because bigger Shaggy and Sean Paul and all the motherfuckers, they can't tour. They ain't live. He come out live. They come to perform. I come to entertain. And I'm not going to let these motherfuckers get me out of this motherfucking film here. So the motherfucker see me playing a, a gay and all kind of shit, gay shit. Yes, motherfucker, you're gonna see me in many movies. So, oh, I love to, oh, I love to play a gay guy in a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like in Superman, I played a gay guy in Jamaica. Superman comes to rescue me when these homophobic fuckers like Bush Band and them suck up my boy, chase him. <laughs> Yeah. Well look at that big sock cock Kim Marley Marley laughing, you know, see? Bob Marley wanted to have tough gun films. Bob Marley wanted to have tough gun films. Then I write with the Marley. We are sitting there. You know, I read about it, but man said, yes, man, so want to have tough girl films and movies and all that, you know, you know that. I'm talking about Bob Marley right now. But, uh, meanwhile, at the fucking gate, I'm there with Tony Wells, he dead now. Lip, he dead too. Stira, he ain't dead. But he was American most wanted. Most wanted. Do his time and come back. I'm talking about super, super cats, I'm going to shoot me and talk about nitty gritty. I'm talking about some bad blood clot, boy. Ain't that right? Stero. Yeah. America most wanted. Top one most fucking wanted. Dream time and come out. Ain't that right? Mm. That's about my friend right there. So even if we at the gate, this fucking bitch Rita Marlin shouted up. In Jamaica and Patois. Me know how him dead, you know. Me know how him dead. She said, I know how Bob Marley fucking died. We looked at each other. I said, what? Then Tony Welch said to her, sign he come out. She really fully, quickly, sign he come out. $50,000 we get. Was that US? I think so. So we borrow about $5,000. To get me some furniture. I said, give her five thousand. She give it. And then 
but two ways was so honest with her. We are about to do the fucking um, album. The same man born named Assassinator. So we call Judge Lars and Judge Lars. That fucking e out album you got. Same album that Green Sleeve Record refused. Are we supposed to give ZP Record? No. Green Sea Record, the first album, you know. Mm hmm. Which never have one of them are uh, Ganja smuggling. Uh, some of them know at all. Same song that Bob Love. Grace 1979. Mm -hmm. So we told you, John Jalad, don't give Green Sea Records the album. Are we supposed to give him some money more? He motherfucker, John Delard went to Green V Green Sea Record and give him a fucking album. Same album he refused. They want it now because I got one of them and got the smoking and shit going on. John Delard took a fifteen hundred pounds for the fucking album. Sold the reggae Rita Marley said, What you gotta Rita Marley said, Fuck it. The contract ain't good no more. Cause you got a album release. Nah, shit going on. See that? See that we're talking about it. How we can't talk about more shit. How we in a jail with seven dead men in a truck. After the police killed nine men. And hours before the men who were about to be killed, they were with General Starkey, Anthony Tinga, Anthony Tinga, police exchanging guns and shooting up guns in, 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 the, in the dance hall night. And they are about to kill the motherfucker. I was the last motherfucker to walk with Anthony Tinko. Eight kids in Rastaki. So come room boy. You know that? I'm in the middle. He's right there. So sick, sick as fuck got it. They drug him that night. And I had a guy right there with M16. I'm with a singer. Going through the gate and you brrrr. I don't know where the fuck he went. But anyway, I found myself behind the policeman. I don't know who the fuck has, has that behind the policeman. I run through that fucking yard. Maybe God just said, mouth come, put me right behind the policeman. Who thought I was the police? Because I was in black. And the, all the police, all, all the other police, they were wearing navy blue. Navy blue and black camouflages in the fucking night. Early morning, 5 o'clock. Next thing I know, the police said, officer. What's going on? He thought I was the police. Running for cover. Because shots start lick from. Da -da 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 -da. What's going to shoot? They was killing the general Starkey. So I said, Sir, I'm me come out and I don't shoot me. I told the police, I'm me come out and don't shoot me. The police spun around with the fucking gun. I'm between my fucking forehead with the other trigger. And I'm like this, please boss, don't kill me, don't kill me. So, and he come home and say, what the heck, he come out? I was going to say, so what the fuck you do there, he come out? I said, sir, you know, I was coming from across there and blah, blah, blah. I couldn't tell him I was in the dance. So he took me outside. I said, what? Look what I got here. He come out. The police said, what? Some police said, kill him, some said, don't kill him. But the big boy, the big, the big boy stopped. And a police never called him Benji. He comes to the dance all the while. He said, get up. And tell me, I'm on the jump. I said, make mouth stay right there. And the policeman went in the yard. And he found M16. And the guy ran him. He, he, he ran away and the M16 police found him. And then, all I hear, yeah, we just killed two. One and one and. Unidentified and one is General Starkey, I'm I said, What the fuck was just walking with the motherfucker? So the guy said, Well, I'll cuff him. Put me down there on my face right there. You see. So the guy said, Get up. How does he come out, man? I mean, he come out as a good boy. He come out here, you see. Police saved me. Police say he come out. He ain't a bad boy. But he said, He come out, know the guy. I didn't know the guy, General Starkey, a good friend of mine, but he was keeping a dance. And invite me to the dance, and that's why I'm at the fucking dance, motherfucker. So we're gonna talk about that. The motherfucker who robbed me, not the shit. My shit gonna be like a trilogy, man. Like, 
Godfather. Mm-hmm. Ready there? So you see now, I'm trying to make a film and the Jamaicans won't kill me. You know? mm-hmm. All the spies and them spies and this shit and shit. So check out the movie now, motherfucker. It's gonna happen, you know that? For the Jamaican, like to kill you, know? like to kill, like to shoot. Like, rah, rah, rah. So I can't afford to make that damn to be How could I shoot Peter the touch? Bob Marley, you know, I can shoot it. No, I can shoot it and kill every motherfucker down there and drop it. I can't afford that. Make them money, because these fucking Jamaican, they'll kill you, editate. Because they all follow suit, you know. They all do, they, they all follow suit. Oh, suit and shit, yeah, fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? We're making a film. So, people, making a film. I'm going to put Super Cap part in it too. We were kill, integrity. And the part we was when they kill um Tenosaur, dump him. And all them singers who they kill, we're gonna bring it up, you know. It'll be an interesting motherfucking film. Okay. How many minutes we have? Two. Two minutes. See? The life that he come out lives, you know. Going on tour and doing that I'm going on tour, you can imagine that shit. And while I'm in Europe and my visa expired in America, these motherfuckers talk about booking shows. I'm gonna go to the CMG Creative Management Group who lied to me. Remember that? Edward G. Orwich. They're gonna talk. Uh, his father lived next to the guy who owned the Clippers basketball team before this guy. I was right there. I'm happy. Wake up and smell the film coffee. Bang, ding, ding, motherfucker. Ding.